The most important uh, innovations in the methodology and work process within the glossary of common knowledge uh, are transparency, self-reflexivity, collaboration, performativity, translation, common usership, community of users, and long-term uh, sustainability. I think these are some of the words and concepts that we talked about a lot. So this project makes vis visible both the process and the results of how this new knowledge is being produced. And the terms that we are going to present, collectively edit and work uh, on, on in the post-production are also link linked to the questions that are very important and these questions are what are our common interests and uh, how do we share knowledge, how do we relate this knowledge to our own context and to internationality, why we are different and how is this newly produced knowledge going to be used by others and I'm sure within these two days many other questions will uh, appear. Now to this practical aspect of on how we are going to continue after the two days here. So after we collectively edit the terms, uh, the second stage follows, where we are going to work on the associative methods and post-production, and what is this? Um, so first of all, we're going to ask you, actually already asked you, to finalize your term by 1st July. That means the editorial work on the term uh, should be concluded by then. By November, each term should already have a cluster of references or tools. That is, that is each narrator makes references uh, to the term. And these references are artworks, exhibitions, concepts, archival materials, visual materials, <coughs> text, etc. So every term should be equipped with these references. And this is very important because they relate to our practices and our context and our specific positions. Uh, in a couple of months, an online tool uh, and a platform, plus a common knowledge platform, will be made available. And this tool will enable simple upload of all the materials. Each narrator will, narrator will be responsible for the post production of his or her term. And the second one, this is the associative connections. At the same time, each narrator also makes associative connections between terms and references. Associative connections are based on history, geographical, political, and affective connections. And the online tool will enable linking and cross-referencing referencing of terms. Associative connections are also very important for the projects because it will show how terms uh, relate to each other. And when making an associative connection, you will also be asked to write a short comment on why the particular connection was made. So it might sound a bit complicated, but it's really not so. Uh, we will send you all the information and instructions on how to do this, how to use the online platform in the next month or so. And by December 2014, as was already mentioned, uh, terms related to historicizations, the references, the materials, and the associative connection should be finalized and made public through international sites. So this is short for me.